I'm currently in Seattle and I need to get to Honolulu. So I'll be taking a Delta Airlines A321neo and you guys are coming along for the ride. I boarded the plane and was happy to see a comfortable looking seat along with a blanket. There was also seat back entertainment along with a pretty good sized tray table. In-flight entertainment is an area where Delta Airlines really shines, with their seatback entertainment as well as a wide selection of movies to watch. Finally, we started pushing back from the gate and headed towards the runway. Just a few short minutes after liftoff, we were already above the clouds. I really enjoyed being able to keep track of our progress on this five and a half hour flight, thanks to Delta's flight tracking technology incorporated into their seatback entertainment. The flight attendant started meal service and I got a chicken salad sandwich as well as a Diet Coke. I enjoyed this meal while watching a movie from Delta's over 500 movie selections. Delta's free onboard Wi-Fi seemed to be having a few problems on this particular flight, however I didn't have any trouble keeping myself entertained, once again thanks to Delta's seatback entertainment. I loved the amount of information Delta gave about the A321neo we were flying on today to Honolulu, as well as its entire fleet. Just before landing, the flight attendants offered some more Biscoff, which I happily accepted. And soon enough, we were descending into Honolulu. Just before touchdown, we got a close-up view of some A-10 Warthogs at Hickam Air Force Base. A few moments later, our pilot brought us in for a smooth touchdown. When we were taxiing in, we got a close-up view of this massive Airbus A380. Alright, I just landed a little while ago in Honolulu and I have to say that flight with Delta was excellent. My seat was clean, the bathrooms were also clean, the staff was incredibly friendly, the food was great. I really don't have anything negative to say about that flight. I really just love Delta's method with in-flight entertainment. They have seatback entertainment which is really easy to use and you don't have to figure out how to set it up on your own device like on some other airlines. They also have a wide range of movies and TV shows you can watch. I also really liked the live flight tracker. We also arrived arrived into Honolulu about 30 minutes early. Now, the only thing I will say is most of you already know that on a lot of flights, Delta offers free Wi-Fi. However, I did hear that on this flight, it wasn't working so well, but that didn't really affect me because I was so well entertained by all of Delta's movie options. However, I will say the price was $0, so it wasn't like they were making you pay an insane amount and then giving you bad Wi-Fi. So yeah, overall, the flight was great. The landing was honestly one of the smoothest landings I've ever felt. I wanted to go tell the pilot what a good job they did Unfortunately, by the time I got to deboard the plane, they had already left. So if I had to rate this entire flight out of five stars, I'd probably give it a solid four out of five stars. I have certainly been on some worse flights, but I do want to leave Delta some room for improvement. Now, there weren't really any bad things about this flight. In fact, there were tons of good things about it. However, there wasn't really anything about it that completely surprised me. So if you're ever wanting to fly to Honolulu with Delta, I would highly recommend it. The food's great, the in-flight entertainment's really good, and the staff are really nice. Make sure to also comment down below what flights I should review next.